Okay, your video in 6 minutes in 20 seconds. Um, homosexuality is wrong because the Bible says so. You know people don't just accept the word of the Bible because we're not all Christians, therefore you find a so-called scientific explanation. And what do we think about that? Okay. Yes, we reject your Bible. Any of us who isn't Christian or is atheist or whatever will reject your Bible. So, forget about that. Is homosexuality wrong? No. Human sexuality, normal human sexuality, is a spectrum of behavior as far as I'm concerned. It ranges all the way from purely heterosexual behavior down to purely homosexual behavior between consenting adults. And in between you've got bisexuality and so on. Okay, so I do not consider any of those behaviors morally wrong. Forget about it. Now, you mentioned the uh, civil unions and my solution to that would be to scrap the word marriage from the civil legislation altogether. Legally what I think people should be able to get into and exclusively get into is the civil union whether it's with a person of the same sex or a person of the other sex. Do you want to be married? Go to your church and have your priest decide whether you can or cannot get married and if there is a problem because you're homosexual and you're a Catholic and your priest will not marry you you guys fight it out between you don't bother anybody else with it so that leaves your evolutionary argument which is garbage and I'll tell you why now my first explanation is going to do with deal with diseases, not because homosexuality is a disease, it I, let me absolutely clarify here that it is not a disease, but purely from the point of view that, yes, you're right, uh, somebody who is purely homosexual will not procreate, which from a genes perspective obviously is would be considered a bad thing. But there are other scenarios in which particular genes or combinations of genes could um, cause evolutionary or procreational disadvantages. For example, in Africa, if you're unlucky enough to inherit two copies of the same gene, you'll get a condition called sickle cell anemia. And if you get that, you're more likely to die young, and if you die young, you're less likely to procreate, and therefore sickle cell anemia is a bad thing. But it is an inherited thing, and it evolved. Now, what benefit could that have? Well, the benefit is to people who will inherit one copy of the gene, rather than two copies of the gene. Because compared to people who have no copies of that gene, who have the opposite version of that gene, the version that doesn't have anything to do with sickle cell anemia, those people are much more susceptible to malaria. People who inherit one sickle cell gene will be less susceptible to malaria and they actually reap an evolutionary benefit. So if homosexuality is genetic in nature, then that is the sort of area where the solution to this problem lies. Homosexuality is, in that case, probably caused by a combination of genetic factors, each one of which individually or in other combinations impart a benefit to the carrier. And it's only to the carriers who have the particular combination of genes that lead to exclusive homosexual behavior that are disadvantaged. Any other combination seems to cause an advantage to the user. I'm not going to speculate what that advantage might be. Another possibility is that homosexuality is the result of an environmental factor. And by environment, I mean the environment of the fetus, so the, what happens within the womb, or what passes to the womb via the mother. Maybe there's something that happens in the womb that causes homosexuality. And here's another idea for you, which you'll probably 
jump on, so I'll bring it up straight away. What if we could establish that it was something caused in the genome or environment, environmental factor in the womb? Wouldn't it be a good idea to select for that and to throw away fetuses who we know would turn out homosexual? No. Because like I said, in my opinion, homosexuality is perfectly normal human sexual behavior. It would make about as much sense as building a concentration camp for all you Christian bigots who have a problem with homosexuality. Because that would also solve the problem. But it's also unacceptable. So no, homosexuality is not morally wrong. Homosexuality is not a problem. And yes, it can be selected for in evolution because it is not a single gene that causes it. Now, get an education.